Hey everyone, I'm excited to be here with Pastor Richard today and we have some, some great news that we wanna update you with. Hopefully most of you have heard already, we announced it on Sunday, but we are preparing to return to in-person services this Sunday, January 17th. Now I wanna let you know that as we prepare to return, we are actually gonna make one big change that everybody needs to know about. Instead of having our normal 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. services, we're gonna to move to one 10 a.m. service. We'll still be able to have service online as well. So if you're not able to come or not ready to come back in person yet, you still have that option. See, our heart as we go to this one service is that we wanna be one church moving forward together. We also understand that during this season, uh, if I can just be honest, volunteers are kind of hard to come by. And so in order to just be a unified church moving forward, as well as to kind of lighten the load on those that are serving, we felt it was the wise decision to start off by moving to one service at 10 a.m. Pastor Richard, can you help us kind of get a picture in our heads as to what we can expect as we return to in-person? Yeah, so as we continue to prioritize health and safety, we're gonna to continue to social distance while we're inside the building. So that's while we're walking through the church and while we're seating, we're asking six feet of separation between you and the next household. We're also gonna ask that everyone wear a mask from the moment you enter the building until you find your place, whether that's in a sanctuary or in another room in the church. At that point, you can feel free to take off your mask or leave it on, whatever you would prefer in that moment. Some of you may be wondering what this means for our BCC kids, for our nursery, as well as for Revolution as we move forward, our youth ministry. Well, I'm excited to tell you that all of those ministries, our nursery, our BCC kids, and our youth ministry Revolution, they're all returning to in-person as well. So if you have your kids and you're looking forward to coming back, we have stuff that's available for them. We love pouring into the next generation and we're gonna continue that. We're excited to have Revolution kicking back off as well. Uh, that'll take place January 20th, that's a Wednesday night. And I know personally, I, I'm really excited for Pastor Jay, our new youth pastor, to finally get an opportunity to connect with teenagers in person. We're excited and encouraged by his vision and his heart for how to saturate our city with the love of God. So we can't wait to have all the generations coming back and being in person at this time. We also know that many of you have missed your small group communities that we call life groups. And so we are excited to announce that in February, we are bringing back our in-person life groups and we hope that everyone is able to jump into a life group, whether you're gonna be jumping into a life group that's online or jumping to a life group that's in person. We're just so excited to have everyone together again in our groups. Church, we cannot wait to see you again face to face. Honestly, as I've been preparing for this week, my heart is bursting. I, I just can't wait to be together in person, worshiping as one. For those of you, again, that are gonna be online, I want you to know that you are still a part of the church, that we are all together moving forward into what God has for us in this next season. I cannot wait. I know Pastor Richard can't wait. We are looking forward to seeing you this Sunday, January 17th, at 10 a.m.